Hi everybody! In this video we are going to talk about how crucial jaw motion is for comprehensive digital dentistry and how you can benefit from the most consistent and efficient treatment protocols. Like mentioned before, high resolution 3D intraoral scans are the gateway to digital dentistry. But there is so much more to discover. By taking static 3D scans and adding motion, you will enter the fascinating world of four-dimensional dentistry. Jaw motion tracking allows you to observe and analyze the patient's real jaw movements. You will get the most accurate insight into the patient's occlusion, such as protrusion and lateral intrusion, and also into a variety of more natural, spontaneous motion patterns, such as chewing, speaking, grinding, and many more. This will help you to enjoy the most comprehensive and precise understanding of individual occlusal dynamics. We believe that every patient deserves a perfect natural occlusion, being a single crown case or a full mouth reconstruction and, especially, a TMD patient. Therefore, jaw motion tracking has become a standard procedure in our clinic. Our teams are performing jaw motion trackings on a daily basis and our patients love it. Today, I'm excited to walk you through a jaw motion tracking procedure step by step. Let's get started. Before we launch the jaw motion tracking, let's make sure that you have your patient's 3D intraoral scans. If desired, you can also add a face scan and a CBCT. To start a new recording, upload the 3D models. Select the model of the upper jaw first, then upload the lower jaw. The system will automatically check the occlusion after both models have been uploaded. They must be correctly aligned for an accurate analysis. In the next step, the reference points are being selected. Now I start with the molar, the occlusal central fossa of the, of the 36, then the anterior fossa of the 34, the anterior fossa of the 44 and the occlusal, central occlusal fossa of the 46. Finally, the incisal point has to be defined. So here we are. And that's it. Now, once the models have been uploaded, the reference points located, we proceed to calibrate the module device. And this involves the tiara and the wand. Now it starts automatically and I perform a rotating motion. That's great. Perfect. Thank you. You can hold that for a moment. Now the next step will be the smilet uh, attached to the bite fork. The bite fork is made out of a soft plastic material and the smilet has also reflectors attached to it. So this is a fast curing composite that I use for attaching the bite fork to the lower jaw. I put some of the material here on the fork and then here on the outside of the lower jaw and now I'll put the fork here on the jaw. Close, please. And I hold it for a moment. It cures quite fast, so it will be stable in about 10 to 15 seconds. Very good. So the next step will be the tiara. I will put that here on our patient's head. You can move the head a little bit forward. Thank you. Okay, now these screws help me to attach the tiara on the head, it should be stable, then the head has to rest here on the chair and the patient looks straight forward to the camera. Right, so everything is attached. I'll confirm. Now I have to pick the skull reference points. I have pre-marked them before. So this is the first collular point on the left side. And now the subnasal. The system auto detects the tiara and the, um, the wand. Very good. 
So the next step is to relocate the occlusal reference points. When you open, please. Now it's the premolar on the left side. You have to be sure to find the correct spots, of course. Very good. So this is the reproducible position. We see that the condylar axis is very well aligned to the actual occlusal plane. I will now select the motion that I will perform. The protrusion, right lateral protrusion, left lateral protrusion, open close. Um, I will use the speech, the chewing, and free movements. Okay, we we'll start with the protrusion. First, we'll try, we'll make it a, uh, a try without the recording. Yeah, you, uh, when you start moving, also already the camera registers every movement. Perfect. So try to put your jaw to the front and backward. Very good. Okay, perfect. We can close and wait for a moment. And now to the left side. Very good. And now to the right side. Very good. Try to uh, to guide your movement with, uh, with your teeth. So, yes. Very good. And to the other side. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Now open, close. Very good. Now grind or chew a little bit. Cool. And make little up and close movements. Perfect. So that was the try before the recording. Now, are we ready to start the recording? Very good. Okay, let's go start. Make tack, tack, tack. Hold it for a moment. Right. So put your jaw forward and backward and forward and backward and forward and backward. Let's make tack, tack, tack. Okay. Wait a moment. Move your jaw to the right. Excellent. And to the right again. And and to the right again. Great. It's very important to start and end the motion recording with the final occlusal position. And now, very good, tuck, 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 was excellent. Now we go to the left side. Please move your jaw to the left side. Very good. A little bit more. Yeah, a little bit farther. Perfect. And stop. Great. Excellent. Now open, close and open and close yeah okay perfect stop great now the last uh, one of the last will be speech will you please um just count from 50 to 60 in a normal way 50 51 52 53 54 55 56 57 58 59 60. very good excellent and now we have have chewing please start to chew a little bit like if you had uh, something in between. Now you can also put a little a piece of apple or a small chunk of chewing gum in there. Um, that's great. So that's perfect. Stop that. Thank you. And now one last movement, which is a free movement in a small manner. That's right. That's very good. Wait a moment. Tuck, tuck, tuck. And now do these little open close movements. A little bit more. Yeah, just. Uh, faster and, and smaller and faster. Very good. This will be important for calibration of the hinge axis. Now stop that. Very, very good. So that was an excellent recording. Thank you very much. That was really great. Super. Yeah, we've already calibrated it with the, with the face scan. Great. Thank you very much. We can now take off the tiara. And yes, thank you. And the smile it. Yes. Is it okay? Is everything? Yeah. Did everything go out? Okay, great. Thank you very much. That was really great. Great job. Would you like to see your movements? Let's have a look. I will now uh, just uh, show you your motion. Now we can turn the jaw, we can observe every angle. Great. Would like to see how you protrude your jaw? 
for example, if we have a frontal um, incisal guidance, incisal guidance or uh, canine guidance, it has to be improved. That's very good. Cool. Okay. When you're done, review all recorded movements. If necessary, re-record the movement. Once all checks are complete, export the data to SmileCloud or your digital lab for further analysis and consultation. Using Mojo has revolutionized the way we approach each case in our clinic. Jaw motion tracking is essential for diagnosing temporomandibular disorders and planning all levels of dental treatments. It provides dentists and dental technicians with a deeper understanding of the patient's jaw biomechanics. By visualizing the full range of jaw motion, you can even identify subtle dysfunctions that may be missed by the traditional static 3D approach. This level of detail supports a more accurate diagnosis and increases the precision of our treatment outcome. Dental technicians can use the motion data to test drive new occlusal designs, create anatomically accurate bite lifts, and allow treatment teams to plan on their future restorations. This helps to create bespoke treatment plans that consider both functional and aesthetic aspects. I really love to watch our patients when they see their jaw movements in 4D for the first time. This visual experience educates and engages them, making them active participants in their dental health journey. The most amazing moment is when patients come for their try-ins and suddenly realize they are going to get the best fitting occlusion ever. Motion data enables us to achieve results that provide a perfect harmony of form, function and beauty resulting in maximized treatment success and long-term value for our patients. And for those of you who love efficiency, Mojo will help you to get from the usual five to seven appointments for a full mouth procedure to three to four appointments with less adjustments or redos. What an incredible return on time and investment. So if you care about the best possible patient care, Mojo could be an amazing add-on for you. Do you already use motion data in your clinic? If yes, how do you use it? And if not, what do you think about the possibilities of jaw motion tracking? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more content on digital dentistry. Thanks for watching and see you next time.